We're heading to another state now to check in with an installer in New South Wales, Mudgee to be exact. We're joined by Kim and Steve Harding from SPS Solar and Water. SPS Solar started about 20 years ago this year. Um, it started off in sort of in a very small way with just uh, just the two of us working from home in selling solar pumps. And then as the industry uh, gained more momentum, we moved into other areas. So having installed batteries for 20 years, what are you seeing happen in the battery market in Australia? Well, the biggest trend with our customers right now is their preparation for putting batteries in Finn. So they're putting in uh, bigger solar systems than probably they would have two or three years ago. So where we were doing a five or a six or a seven kilowatt system, if it can fit and if the network provider will allow us, we'll put in, you know, an eight to 10, 12 kilowatt system for a customer so that whether they do it now or in a couple of months or in a year's time, when they add a battery, we've got enough capacity for that to work correctly. So that's the biggest trend. So you guys have been installing batteries for 20 years. How have batteries changed over that time as a technology? Uh, we started out with uh, wet cell lead acid batteries and we've certainly come a long way now to the, the modern lithium offerings from you know all the big manufacturers. I guess it's the ease that you can tailor a system for a customer and the ability to add extra capacity for a customer down the track so they're not limited by a decision they make now, that in six or 12 months they could expand the system if they find their needs grow, more people move into the house, if they install a, a pool. The expandability of the system, the reliability and um, the longevity and warranties that are coming out with the new batteries is certainly a plus for us and a plus for our customers. Now tell me about that installation behind you. It looks like a beautiful building. What's installed on there exactly? This system here has got the uh, Redback, uh, 10 kilowatt, three phase installation. Um, it's all got the 14.4 kilowatt hours of uh, Pylon Tech batteries there as well. Redback has been another great success story in Australia, manufactured up in Brisbane. Again, great support, great warranties, easy installation. The system is pretty much pre-wired when we get it, it makes for a quick and cost-effective installation. So guys, what do you think the future for solar and batteries is? Have we reached a tipping point yet? Well, that's a good question. I guess it comes down to educating the marketplace. There's a lot of information out there which is either you know, not true or not on the mark technically. And so it's up to businesses like ourselves and um, the people that come into contact with the customers is to educate them correctly on what reliable options are, that are out there. But as for the future, I think it's, it's an education, it's new offerings that will come to the market every year. I think we'll continue to see the price come down, which makes it way more acceptable for customers to install a battery up front rather than delaying it. And I think it'll become normal once more and more installations are done and people start talking to their friends and families about how great it is and pulling their phone out of the pocket and showing that you know their house is running on a battery at night at a dinner party. I think you know that's a game changer as well, that you know people are, are proud of that sort of self-reliance that they can develop through a battery as well. Well, thanks for talking to us, guys.